I wanted to ask him is that Empty Mansion seems to be a very different project than anything that any of you have worked on. What made you want to uh, make a record that was like this now? Brandon and I were touring together uh, for the last Interpol record. Right. And, you know, we were always talking about something, you know, the music related in one form or another, what we were doing outside of, you know, the task at hand and Eventually, it just you know led to him like listening to some stuff I put together, and then sure. some advice started to be ex not exchanged, received. Right. And then you know it's just the next thing you know it's like yeah, well let's you know mark out February and we'll start doing basic tracks. Right. And then concurrently, Dwayne and I got back in touch over and we hadn't really seen each other all that much in the course of I mean, 10 years or something and wow. you know conversations started and what we were doing and, and you know I presented Dwayne with just listen hey you want to take a listen to what I'm doing
Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I say. Dwayne Dennison, that guy right there. This is Brandon Curtis, on the bass guitar. Look how cute Chris Conley is on the drum. He's just a cute motherfucker. This is Timmy Conley. You know you can't wear a red hat like him. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Fogarino. I don't think there's that big a jump from either Jesus Lizard or Tomahawk or even Firewater. Okay. Um, it's definitely a rock thing, um, and it's atmospheric too. Sure. So, I, I suppose, you know, in some ways it is, but it, I don't think it's that big of a jump. To okay. Be honest, it, sure. You know. Fair enough. I just kind of stopped idealizing what I wanted to do outside of Interpol. Sure. And just was like, okay, you know what? the hell with it, play an E chord, and let it be what it is. So, this is kind of a question I didn't think of beforehand, but did your work in Interpol kind of work as a, um, an inspiration for stuff that you want to not do as far as a band? Yeah, and in a, in a good way. Right, that's what in I mean. In a good way, yeah, because sure. that's, that's, that's kind of taken care of, and it's done, that shelf is occupied rather right. well. So right. why, you know, There'd be no point in kind of going in that direction. And, you know, I think it was just a timing thing where, you know, reflecting on, you know, younger years and the music my mother listened to and that I grew up with and that bleeding into what I liked in my 20s. Right. And, you know, just trying to let, trying not to control what I was trying to do, you know, right. just kind of back off and let it be what it was going to.
So when you started producing the record, Brandon, um, you know, I know that you guys listen to music for a long time, but did you come to it with any um, particular uh, frame of mind or, or focus point when you were when you started producing, or is your no? No, it's just more like coming in and just being open and having. I mean, you have a sense pretty quickly the direction things are going in, but not. I wouldn't. I, my idea wasn't to come in and impose something on sure, the right. process. When we, it seems like it's either one way or the other. You know, you're either 100 percent like want to put your sonic thumbprint on that record. Well, or, I feel like that's or, inevitable. I mean, it's like it's yeah. still different parts of it are being filtered through the way I hear things. You know, what I mean, and definitely in collaboration with Sam, and you know, even recording Dwayne, putting down you know certain kinds of mics and how it's mixed and where it's placed. You know, how just how best for that to be expressed. It was I didn't come in with some idea to formulate it or push it in a particular direction, just to kind of make it as it was coming out and going. You know. To hard drives and recording, it's like just to make it have its, uh, you know, and see see his ideas in the best possible light. And this one's not a low song. you say that your influence for this record came from versus some of the other projects that you all have worked on? There was a certain element, of, there's a certain sort of decadence and stylishness to it that kind of reminded me of, say, uh, Berlin era Bowie or Roxy Music or things like right. that. So it, for me, it was fun to kind of step into that, like, oh, Phil Manzanera meets Robert Fripp or kind of like touch on those things. Which we all like, yeah. and and so it, and it wasn't that big a jump to try to do that. Sure. So it, it's kind of fun. It's almost like being um, like an actor, and you get to step into a different thing right. and kind of go for that. And, and kind of refreshing, I would think. Absolutely. In a way to be able to do step that. Step away from yourself. Like, yeah. Step away uh, from yourself. Different thing. than what you're kind of expected to Absolutely. do. In, in a way, especially with you, Sam, playing guitar and being a, kind of a front man it's, for a band that's a freak of nature, man. Yeah, it's yeah. Not right. Supposed to happen. Right. 
<laughs> yeah, and some people don't want Drummers you to do that. They don't want you to do that. They don't want you. Yeah, they don't want. They they're, you know, they don't want you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. I mean, I don't think any of us were really preoccupied with that. You know, you just kind of got the task at hand, and it's fun to hang out with each other and stuff. But you know, kind of looking at you know from the outside in, it's kind of fun to like just shoot that that box out of the water. You know, and just sure. like absolutely, you know, just to do what you want to do, and you know, people will have you know these awful expectations of like some kind of awful like three-headed monster to the secret machines interpol and jesus lizard yeah yeah right you know right and just, but yet it comes out something like nothing uh, like i mean of any course of, those, of really, course right? and it, it you know i couldn't even think that it would if we wanted it to so if there's any one thing that you wanted people to take away with this record what would that be the record fantastic <laughs> <laughs> 